research has revealed that many more people than previously thought are at risk of asthma storm, which claimed the lives of nine Victoria last year. People suffering from hay fever should have asthma medications in reach of the arms at all times, especially in the pollen season, experts advise the lungs. New research presented at the Australian Thoracic Society and New Zealand TSANZ annual scientific meeting in Canberra on Tuesday suggests that a history of hay fever is one of the major risk factors for asthma storm. Dr. Daniel Clayton Chubb, this hidden population of Australians are often unaware that they are at risk and must be prepared. Symptoms of severe asthma storm can occur quickly and without warning. Nine people died in Victoria late last year and more than 8,500 require emergency hospital care when an unusual weather event combining high pollen counts with hot winds and sudden downpour resulted in the release of thousands of tiny particles of allergens, triggering sudden and severe attacks of asthma. The most severely affected by this phenomena, known as the storm asthma, were people who were not aware that they were at risk for asthma and therefore had no medication at hand. A study of more than 500 health workers led by the Department of Respiratory and Sleep Medicine, Eastern Health, Victoria, found that nearly half of those surveyed with asthma symptoms experienced during the storm event. Alarmingly, 37% of those surveyed with no previous history of asthma had reported symptoms such as hay fever, shortness of breath, cough, chest tightness and wheezing during storms. 